Hello, Facebook. We are, my name is Christopher. We are in uh, Skanderborg, Denmark, where we are opening our brand new R&D uh, center. It's a, a big day for us. We have had a lot of guests so far, and now we want to share this day a little bit with you guys and introduce some of the people you've seen in Ask the Expert. And I can see over here that our first guest is ready. Steven, would you join me here? Yes. So, it's a, it's a big day, right? It's the new R&D center, it's open. Yes, and a year coming. Year coming, yeah. Yep. It's, a, it's a lot more space than you had previously, right? A lot more space, yes. And um, Steven, if we, if we talk a little bit about what it does for our ability to produce products for the, the professional segment, how much of an upgrade is this new R&D center? One of the big upgrades for me that um, I'm really looking forward to getting in and using is our new measurement chamber. Yeah. I believe you'll be looking at that in a bit more detail later on. Yeah. So I'll, I'll let that pass. But it's going to give us the ability to measure our loudspeakers a lot quickly, a lot more quickly, a lot more accurately. Um, it, you know what we'll be able to do in an hour is something that would previously have taken us three days. Yeah. And I know that especially the um, getting the right measurements is crucial for the professional segment, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crucial for everything. Yeah. You know, if we don't measure properly, we don't know what we're looking at. Yeah. Um, so being able to measure properly allows us to see what the problems are, what the good features are, and how best to combine the two yeah. uh, in our loudspeakers. So it's a big step up, basically. Big, big step up, yes. Brilliant. Stephen, thank you so much. I can see that our next guest is ready. Yep. You're more than welcome to bring your glass of champagne. Cheers. And cheers, yes. Morten, welcome. Hi. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, do you want a glass of champagne? Oh, yeah, a small one. A small one, you will get. <laughs> Morten, um, as Stephen said, we've been underway, underway here for a year now. It's finally opened the new R&D center. Um, for the car segment, how much does this mean that we have a brand new facility here? It, it is a great, great improvement because we have a, new, a brand new garage downstairs with all the, the measurements equipment very nearby. Mm. So, so to, to actually have uh, the development of drivers and, and a very good garage to do the tuning in, that is uh, really, really nice. Yeah. And um, when we talk about drivers for for the uh, the car segment i guess that you know having this measurement chamber it really allows us to develop much better drivers in in the in the future yeah because this this room is so big that uh, when we measure the 2p uh, uh, frequency response we can do it in all angles uh, without any disturbing uh, reflecting uh, mm. surfaces so and actually in the car uh, the, the the sound don't don't really get away. You are inside the box, so mm. say. So it's very important to know how the the, uh, the sound comes from from the driver in what directions. So we can really use that very very high class uh, measurement room yeah. for uh, for the future. And then after making all of the measurements and designing the new drivers, you can go into a brand new garage. Yeah, yeah. Very where good. you have all the room that you need to all to the equipment, all the all the good stuff. Yeah, you yeah. can pick the car apart and, yeah, and really exactly. build up something yeah. brand new and, and yeah. amazing. That, that will be an improvement in, in, in the future and then cards of uh, we have uh, the double space as we yeah. uh, was used to have so so this is really a great improvement a great improvement yeah really cool um thanks a lot mom okay and, uh, you're welcome your champagne it's <laughs> yeah. a small glass you yes. got here okay and thank, uh, you. <laughs> thank you so much for for joining us cool. cheers um i can see our next guest is here you probably know this uh, gentleman from our Ask the Expert series, where he was on talking a little bit about drive units. We'll bring him in now. Andreas, uh, Hello. here you go, a glass of champagne. Thank I'll pour so a new one for myself. It's, um, it's been a bit since we had you on. Sure has. Anything, uh, have you developed anything new and cool since uh, Ask the Expert? Of course. Of course. But All I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and especially after we have been granted this great honor to move into this excellent building. Yeah. We will be enhancing our details and our position. Mm. Um, I guess you have talked a little bit about our new room and the facility. Yeah. And uh, 
we are really looking forward to getting that into our everyday use yeah. so uh, we can get into the finer details. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that a, a measuring room with the precision and the capabilities of the new one we have here, it's, by the way, it's 13 by 13 by 13 meters. Yeah. So it's huge. And really? I guess it, it, it offers you, as a driver specialist, a, a lot of opportunities to build better drive units. Sure, sure. We can, in, in, in every detail now, dig into how the driver behaves, um, the driver into the boxes, and then again how it behaves. Yeah. So um, it's like we have moved from a small room into a room without any boundaries at all. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. Is there anything... I've been down there, of course, and I've seen it. It, it looks amazing with the big robotic arm. Is there anything in particular that is your favorite feature? Um, yeah, there are plenty, but actually our, as we call it, the infinite uh, battle, yeah. where we'll mount our drivers, that's excellent, because so far we've been a little limited, mm. now we're not. So that's really a feature I, yeah. I enjoy. Infinitive baffle, can yeah. you? Yeah, it means when you're measuring your, your driver, you mount it in, in a baffle, uh, in the wall, mm. and you would actually like to have this wall as big as possible, and 13 times 13, that's big. That's big, yeah. That's big. It's so really we are, we're getting closer to infinity. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming by our little studio here and having a, a drink with me and My sharing a little bit about uh, about the new R&D center. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Just to give you an idea of the new center here, it's um, it's 1,600 square meters. That's seven, uh, 17,200 square feet. So it's a huge new facility for our engineers to to really let their crea creativity loose and, and play around with the future of sound reproduction. Um, we have the big measuring facility that's a f measuring chamber it's 13 by 13 by 13 meters big we also have two smaller listening rooms but instead of me talking about them i'd like to introduce you guys to otto who i can see over here and uh, otto i won't uh, cheat you out of a glass of uh, champagne thank you and go ahead and have a taste it's it's quite good um we talked to Andreas a little bit about uh, the measuring room, of course, and I know you also look very much forward to, to getting your hands on it. Um, yeah. But especially, uh, if I understood you right, the listening rooms, because we, we have two brand new listening rooms that uh, are designed like real rooms, right? Yeah, it's uh, designed more like a, a living room, mm. so we will have different ways of experiencing our speakers, uh, more like a listening room or uh, like a living room, uh, figure out how does it work in these different environments. Um, we already use our speakers in different rooms as it is to mm. find out how it works, but having it all in-house, having it all very close is, uh, is an improvement. Yeah. Um, so that's, that should make our speakers more consistent. Mm. Um, what I also hope is that this building will bring out more creativity with some more creative workspace yeah. and to be able to to have a shorter path from uh, ideas to to the finished speaker mm. i think that's that's and i guess that you talked about it the rooms we've always done it but now they're closer it's literally just hey guys let's go down and have a listen to this speaker we are building right now and you yeah, can I mean test it out in a lot of different rooms. Yes, it will be easier to, to listen to the speakers while tuning, listening mm. to them in more different rooms instead of just tuning in one room, bringing it out, seeing if it works, yeah. and then going back. Um, actually doing more active tuning in each room, uh, yeah. it, it will speed up the process. Mm. I mean, it, we can probably do the same things, but making it quicker means uh, a better end result. Yeah. So that's and, um, it also means uh, uh, today with the, the opening, I can hear that the bass on one of the uh, <laughs> the Contour 60s is going at it down in the big listening yes. room, right? Uh, I know you set one of the rooms up, right? Uh, actually, no. No? Uh, Stephen ended up doing it. Stephen uh, ended up so doing it, okay. Yeah. So. 
but still it's um, it's really going at it down there right now <laughs> okay. it, it, I can hear it all the way up here so yeah. so well that's uh, that's part of testing our speakers is uh, is making the making whole sure building shake a yeah, little bit. Well, testing the limits. <laughs> yeah, so, because and the limits on a Contour 60 is quite high. So yeah, I, I should say because everything is shaking right now. Yeah. Um, but how has um, you've obviously also been here for a year now, and uh, the expectations of this center opening up, and now getting to see it finally, see the different rooms, experience the atmosphere that is over here. Is it everything you wanted and? Yeah, I would say so. It's uh, it's a very nice uh, environment to be in. Mm. Uh, like I said, it's, it feels creative. You you want to have ideas. And, yeah. And obviously, what we can do with the measurement chamber and learn new things, do exciting things with with research that we can hopefully put into our products in, in the long run. Yeah. That's uh, that's going to be really great, and you can feel a lot of positive energy from. From everybody who's going to work here, that, uh, that this is going to be nice. And that's uh, that's equally important, right? Because yeah, exactly. we we also just the workspace here. It's it's open. It's great. It's uh, I think I've heard multiple times now. It's really been designed for bringing out the creative side in people. And we now have a lot of new project rooms and uh, meeting rooms where we can really. If you and I, for instance, are on a project, we have small rooms, but also for the bigger, you know, let's design a new loudspeaker. We have a huge project room where we can actually yes. almost lock ourselves in. I mean, speakers are, are objects, but but they're objects made by people. So yeah. so the, the better the people feel, the better the project the product they can make in the, yeah. in the end. So. That's how, that's how it works, yeah. 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 And, and this is definitely uh, a, a very good place to be creative. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Arthur. You're welcome. It was uh, good seeing you again. Did Talking you? a little bit about loudspeakers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. <laughs> yeah. Um, as we let me just reiterate what we're doing here today. It's the uh, the grand opening of Dynaudio's brand new R and D center. It's a 30 million Danish krona investment right here in Skanderborg, Denmark, where we have built a three-story uh, R&D center. It's 1,600 square meters, uh, 17,200 square feet if you're from the US or UK. So it's a pretty big facility. We have one of the largest measuring rooms that we know of. It's 13 by 13 by 13 meters big. Uh, where we can do all sorts of measure, uh, measurements on loudspeakers. It actually has a robotic arm with 31 microphones uh, that can twist and turn and the loudspeaker can rotate. Uh, so, th so that's just a, a really good playing uh, ground for our engineers to work with. We also have two new uh, listening rooms, uh, a small one. I believe I heard that it was something like 30 square meters and a bigger one that's double that size um, and that will really give us a good opportunity for or at least the right the right uh, setting for developing better technologies developing the loudspeaker of tomorrow um, we also have a, a brand new garage that will give our car tuners every opportunity to really pick apart a car to play around pull out everything um, really look at how can we get these loudspeakers uh, drive units into the car in the best possible way um, and that's what's been going on today I uh, I think that the next really uh, exciting thing is actually to uh, to go downstairs and have a look at the uh, measuring chamber. I will just unscrew this microphone here and then uh, let's go down and have a look. So bear with us while we uh, play around with the technical stuff here. And I think that we have all the cords. So, what 
we'll do now is uh, go downstairs. Go downstairs and have a look at uh, the measuring chamber. As I said a couple of times, it's 13 by 13 by 13 meters big. So it is a huge, a huge chamber where we can do all sorts of uh, measurements on loudspeakers. Um, one of the really uh, cool things is that we are able to put a loudspeaker on a, a robotic arm that can then lift the loudspeaker up and into the center of the room. And let's turn left here and have a look. Right now we are showing the center to everyone at Dyn Audio. And as you can see, it's a totally component. We're back. Uh, we're back from the 13 by 13 by 13 meters big listening room. If you look up here, you can see we have two robotic arms. The one on the left is for raising the loudspeaker to the center of the room. As you can see, we have a, I think that's a confidence loudspeaker up there right now. And it's in the dead center with a big robotic arm with 31 mics that can twist around, swirl around and make a, a 180 degrees uh, uh, measurement of the sound in here. The loudspeaker up there, if we can get the camera on it, can also rotate so we can make kind of a, a measurement of the whole radius around it. Um, it's this center, as we talk to a lot of the guys about, will really help us measure our loudspeakers extremely precisely, help us develop the, the drive units of tomorrow, the loudspeakers of tomorrow. Um, I think that we should go and have a look at one of our new, uh, one of our new uh, listening rooms as well. Maybe even see the Contour 60s in action. So if you come with me, we'll just uh, walk out of the measurement chamber. Just for any new viewers, we are live from the grand opening of Dyn Audio's brand new R&D center. Uh, let's have a look at the garage first. It's the grand opening of Dyn Audio's brand new R&D center where we will uh, hopefully produce some of the best loudspeakers in the world. Uh, what we're seeing here is the new garage where we have uh, enough space for two cars that our car tuners can totally pick apart and play around with and build the systems that they really want to make. It's a great opportunity for really doing everything that they want to try out uh, in cars. Coupled with all of the other opportunities here, I am sure and I guess and I know that all of our engineers are sure as well that we can really build better technologies that can help our products produce the best sound possible. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our little tour here of the brand new R&D center. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. Goodbye.